What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the next video on learning C++. My name is QDS Danny and you guys are watching my channel Crywood. Alright, so in the previous video we have uh, explained what is uh, inheritance and um, we have explained the um, uh, public access uh, modifiers and uh, we said that in future videos we're gonna explain the private access modifiers or uh, protected uh, access modifiers. So if you don't know what is access modifier, this is access modifier here. So you guys can uh, have the choice to go public and uh, you guys have the choice to go private or you guys have the choice to go protected. Okay, so why we put it here? So if you guys uh, want everything, everyone to know your uh, uh, whatever the, your drive class and if you guys going from the base class, it's up to you but what you guys want to do you guys want to access the the public part of this uh, class of the class of the base class or you guys want to so keep in mind i don't put a private here but uh, if it's not inside the public it means that's in private so this variable here is whatever you guys going to see the horsepower and wheels that's in private so uh, but in c++ uh, you guys don't know by default c++ already know that this is a private here so if you guys very confused uh, because I, I'm here I'm gonna put a public and I'm the by, by default if you guys don't put it anything here C++ assumes this is a private but if you guys don't um, declare in public and there is another uh, uh, another one called uh, protected you guys uh, can uh, put say in a vehicle uh, you guys uh, can horsepower is a private to the vehicle wheels is private and you guys can put for example say int reg number Reg, regio, the registration number for the vehicle that's a private or uh, say engine number so you guys can uh, put engine number that's a that's a private because the uh, vehicle is a licensing uh, agency our office issues the regio and uh, engine number is a private even the vehicle manufacturers they put an engine, engine number or serial number in this very private so with the, with the protected you guys can put a say engine engine is very well protected from them so if you guys have a say for example what's horsepower or what's engine you guys can put it as a protected that's the best example i can give you in, in a vehicle so you guys have a, whatever you guys have a vehicle it has a horsepower it has a wheels is her edge or range uh, engine number so this all comes in private but the protective part is that uh, the engine is very very well protected so you guys driving a car you guys don't need to know what's happening inside the engine because that's a protected part uh, from the vehicle or uh, vehicle manufacturer all right so when you guys kind of come here and as I say to you guys I'm going to remove this ones okay so now as I we have seen in a previous video we are uh, gonna run and uh, because the first one our truck name is Mercedes-Benz it has a horsepower 300 it has a 26 wheel which makes it a uh, B double in um, uh, according to the heavy vehicle manufacturing instructions and it can take uh, say 50,000 tons and the second one is a MEG which is very powerful it has 700 horsepower and it has a 28 wheel and it has 70,000 which is 70 70 tons of uh, load <clears throat> all right so now how about if we kind of come here and uh, say we want to test because um, i'm going to remove this too because that's just example now you guys are going to look here that uh, that's our um, public and if you look in here inside here that uh, we have we are uh, accessing the uh, set name set horsepower set wheels and um, set load if you look in here and we are accessing also that's a display so if we just a quick glance at our um, program it says that the uh, int horsepower int wheels comes into private but in the public we have a uh, few methods here so that's a set horsepower set uh, get horsepower set wheels and get wheels so if you go if you look in here uh, except beside this name we have a uh, horsepower get wheels they are coming from the base class but the set name and set loads coming from the class truck which is uh, you guys looking here the constructor and the objects here all right so how about if we gonna put here instead of the public we're gonna go private 
so what do you guys think is gonna happen because here if you look in here in our base class we have a private which is the two data types of the type integer we have a horsepower and uh, we have a wheels but if you look in here inside we have a, a method here there are four methods here uh, and uh, if you look in here inside that uh, that we are using this um, horsepower and um, the wheels because we have uh, parameter numbers and we are assigning numbers to horsepower and uh, we are assigning these numbers to the wheels so in both cases both of them have a number and we are assigning to the wheels all right so this wheels got a whatever you guys looking here this this wheels got um, 300 and the wheels got a 26 and the horsepowers have a 300 and we are setting this uh, set name set load whatever and if you guys look in here that's coming from the truck but now the only difference is that before we are we have tried to access this as a public and that was no problem because we could access this all these members here with ease no problem because they all working fine because here is a public we are not uh, accessing the private parts of the vehicle we are not accessing that one but we are accessing the public and if you guys seen here this uh, horsepower and the wheels coming from the public and uh, from the base so that's coming from the base class and uh, this wheels as well coming from the base class and uh, set load and uh, set name coming from the class track which is the child class so if you look in here class track it has a set load get load set name and get name because in the last video we have uh, said this one if you guys not sure where this one came from we have done it in last uh, episode all right so if you look in here we are uh, setting the name and uh, we are setting the load if you look in here that we have set the name is Mercedes Benz and we have uh, set the load which is 50,000 which is 50 ton all right so how about if we come here and like we say the class uh, truck and we put it as a private so now it's, it's a private uh, what do you guys think is going to happen because the private here we has a horse uh, horsepower and wheels but we don't have anything else beside this um, we don't have any parts which says private or we don't have any methods but if you look in here we are uh, using the public parts of the base class so we're going to run and we're going to see what happens so if you run and if you look in here the C++ is giving us say uh, horsepower is gonna give us error and it's got a set wheels why it's gonna give us only the horsepower and set wheels and it's gonna give us horsepower and set wheels and it's giving us say if you guys look in here inside the vehicle as horsepower wheels so it's giving us error in this one in this one but not this ones so if you if you look you go here and look at the error so if you look in the error void vehicle horsepower is inaccessible within uh, within this context and uh, if you look in here set horsepower which is uh, this guys here we have uh, set the horsepower and uh, set the wheels if you look in here the set horsepower is coming from the club from, from the base class or parent class so if you look in here we have uh, set horsepower and set wheels is coming from there so if you look in here we have uh, the problem with the uh, vehicle set wheels and set horsepower in is inaccessible with this this context so why uh, do you guys think is inaccessible because here the reason is because this one's sitting in the public of the base class and now we are here we are trying to access the public because our access modifier is now private so if you look in here you guys put a private that's the reason so when you guys when you guys put your uh, public modifier as a private you guys cannot access the public part of the base class so that's that's the rule but if you guys putting as um, protected then this protected becomes a private and that's gonna be I'm gonna discuss that in the next video so keep in mind All right, so we're gonna put some uh, restrictions. Okay, so the first one, as you guys seen here, if your uh, base class, 
I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna put it say uh, access modifier if you're uh, say if you're uh, using public say for example private or uh, if you guys uh, so I'm gonna put a child class or drive class you guys can put a drive class child Okay, so we have a base, our uh, parent class. And uh, here that's our power private. And if you look in here, I'm talking this, that's why because I put a two column and I put a private. And if you look in here, that's a private. So what happens if you use all the, all the three? Say for example, if I use that, uh, I try to do private. Say for example, if my the private part of the class uh, of the class vehicle which is the base class this private part this private part if you look guys look in here as a private so I'm gonna move this one and I'm gonna put a access specifier so I'm gonna put an access specifier okay so if if you guys looking put a private and if you guys try to access that as a say for example public so if you guys put a public here and that one I'm talking this one here so instead of uh, this your um, this guy here your drive class if that child class if you guys gonna put a public so if you put a public then it's gonna be no problem because here you guys can access all these properties no problem all these uh, members of uh, the base class then it's no problem so if you put a public and it's gonna with the child class gonna see that as a public and uh, your program is gonna run and we have shown you guys before uh, here we're gonna start with the public okay so if your base class has a public which is uh, this one here of the base class and if you guys using as a access modifier access restriction whatever you guys call it you guys gonna put it this one that you guys can access that so the public you guys can easy use it with no problem so it's a public then the drive class is you guys can access it no problem so how about if you guys put a protected for example our private so if you guys got a pro private and you guys uh, access that one if you guys gonna put your access as a public then it's gonna be inaccessible you guys cannot uh, access cannot access all right so if you put a public and you try to put your access public access modifier then it becomes a public no problem then if you guys gonna put a private which is uh, this guy is here and we've seen that is inaccessible within this context so you guys cannot access this one <coughs> you guys cannot access this part so you guys uh, if you got a problem public then you guys can uh, can access the private part of the base class so how about if you guys gonna put a gonna put a uh, protected for example so we're gonna come here and we're gonna put a protected protected and if you guys gonna put a public okay so this now this one's gonna be uh, you guys gonna kind of gonna protect it you guys can uh, the drive class has to be protected as well so the, the protected if you guys gonna put a public then you guys can pr can access the protected part of this um, base class so if you got a pr public in your drive class so it means you guys can access that public part if you guys gonna put a private and you guys can access it in the drive class from the uh, the base class if the base class has a, a pri has a private uh, parts which we have uh, which is here then uh, if you could have put a public then you guys can access here and as you guys see here the example here and if we can if we cannot access that that's a rule for object-oriented programming in C++ with the inheritance so if you guys are gonna pro pro protect it 
and if you guys put your uh, public uh, access modifiers as a public then you guys can access this prote uh, pro uh, protected provided you guys need to put a protected here so instead of this uh, uh, public you guys need to put a protected so you guys can access the protected part of this uh, class which is the base class so I'm gonna put it here so you guys don't be confused I'm gonna put this one as a base class okay so this is a base class and this is the derived class as I put it here so now we have put a public and we can access no problem but if you guys seen here we have put up you can access the public part of the um, base class and if you guys can uh, put up with the private parts you guys, you guys can access with the protected parts you guys can access but provided you guys have a protected part inside the drive class so how about we go ahead and dive deep so how about if you guys gonna say we again we're gonna apply the same so we're gonna copy this one and uh, we're gonna put it here with the second part and we're gonna put it here say for example we have uh, now we're gonna put a say uh, private so we're gonna put a private here and we're gonna put a private okay so now I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna put it one more time as a protected okay so now I have uh, three so I have uh, protected as well I have uh, protected I have uh, protected okay so now I have a public which I explained to you guys now I'm gonna come towards uh, private so if you have a public in um, your uh, base class and you guys put your uh, access modifier uh, private then uh, in uh, this this part becomes a private so your public it becomes a private if you guys gonna put a private here it means if you guys gonna put here so this public part becomes a private this whatever okay so what about if you guys gonna put what happens with the private if you guys uh, put your access modifiers as a private then it becomes uh, cannot access so that's a private part of the base class if you guys gonna private then you guys cannot cannot access that one so how about the protected if you have a protected then it becomes a private so if you have a protected part which is gonna be in this one it's a little bit confusing but if you have a protected part in this class vehicle say if somewhere you gotta say protected and whatever you guys gonna have here say for example you guys have an int engine engine number for example if you guys have this one then uh, according to what I said here if you guys gonna put private it then becomes private then even you guys gonna come here it becomes a private here so it means it's uh, it's okay no problem so how about protected so now we're going to come towards a protected how about if we have a public what happens if you have a public part in our base class if you put our your access modifiers as a protected what happens then it becomes a not a public but it becomes as a protected it means that protected part of your uh, drive class have access to the public so how about if you have a private and you put your access modifier as a protected it becomes in access cannot access so the private of this one it you guys cannot access inside the, uh, when you guys gonna put a protected so how about you here you have a protected and you put a protected then the protected can have access easy peasy uh, very easy to understand all this so that's how the whole uh, inheritance works on this formula here that's how the C++ works here and uh, I'll go through this again if you have a, a public and we've seen we've seen that one and we put a public here then uh, all the public uh, part of this uh, base class becomes a public part of the drive class 
so all the private parts uh, when you guys are going to publish you guys cannot access as we have shown you guys before it means that um, if you have a private here and if you guys are going to put a public you guys cannot access it's going to be inaccessible so the set horsepower and the set wheels which is the private of this uh, vehicle and I'm going to show you here this guy is here uh, horsepower and wheels is you guys can't access it then you guys can't access but what about if you guys say have an engine number if you put a public then it becomes a protected you guys need to have a protected here in the derived class which is uh, this guy here so instead of public you guys need to have protected protected and you guys need to have some uh, methods here and when you guys have a method then you guys kind of come here and instead of this public you guys gonna put up your uh, uh, methods here the protected methods here all right so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if you guys have a public so now we're gonna come towards the public and if you guys uh, have a public in your uh, base class and if you guys put your private your access modifier then it, this this parts become the private so how about if you guys have a uh, private part in the base class so if you guys gonna put private it becomes inaccessible you guys cannot access so if you guys gonna have a protected part inside the base class and if you guys gonna put a private then uh, it's then it's gonna be private for the base class for that drive class so if you guys have a public and you guys gonna put a uh, protected then it becomes a protected here in the drive class so if you guys have a private part in the base class and uh, if you guys gonna put a protected access modifier then you guys can access and uh, the finally the last but not least if you guys got a protected and if you guys are gonna protect the access modifier then it just becomes a protected inside your uh, derived class all right so I'm gonna leave it here and we're gonna see how uh, if you guys seen here we have uh, changed this one if you guys look in here we have changed it back to public and if you guys look in here with the public now all we can we can access our public uh, parts very easy no problem so if you guys gonna be flawless so how about if you're gonna come here and we put a protected now uh, we don't have any protected parts here uh, we don't have any protector we have protected but in that's engine number and that's engine number but we are not using the engine number in, in our uh, main uh, we don't we are only using the public and uh, public so which we're going to see what happens even though we have uh, so if you guys uh, if you look in here uh, then it's going to be can access uh, on the base of the truck and the uh, vehicle set wheels is you guys can access that one and you guys gonna set horsepower and set wheels you guys can access in the protected it has to be protected for for you guys to access this one well right, guys uh, that's it for this video and uh, in the next video we're gonna try to use some of these we're gonna we have uh, seen the public as you guys know this one and uh, we're gonna show the some of the protected how with the protected ones if you got if you put an access modifier here and as a public how the um, uh, protected one uh, gonna be in the drive class and uh, how this one's gonna be have then later on we're gonna see the protected then we're gonna go towards the protect and we're gonna go towards the private how the private behaves from the base class to the drive class so far we have uh, seen this one and we have shown that uh, we if you use private then you guys gonna get an accessibility error all right guys uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching if you have guys have any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye